Hey everyone, Kelly with KPTV, and today what I'm going to show you is how to add a view counter to your personal stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my next scene. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to go to streamlabs.com. Whether you use Streamlabs or you use OBS Studio or whatever you're utilizing, log in. So it'll ask you to log in. It'll say it'll ask you to use your Facebook, your Twitch, or your YouTube, or even now TikTok. So all those different platforms you could log in with. Click on your dashboard. <clears throat> So that brings you to here. What you need to do is you need to go to all widgets. You have all these different things, but you just need to go to all widgets. And then from here, scroll down until you see view counter right here. So click on the view counter. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So you see right here where it shows what you're going to be you can choose these options. If you take off the Facebook one, it's only going to show you Twitch and YouTube or Facebook and Twitch or whatever you want. So here is the URL. You'll copy this URL and then you'll paste it into a browser in your OBS, which I will show you. But you can also change these fonts if you'd like. You can right here, you can put it on that type of font or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to scroll down to some, show you different fonts, nothing too crazy, whatever. Your choice and go from there. You can make it bigger or smaller, the font size and the image size of the logos. This, I think this is if you're using a certain type of font. So, you also could change the font color. So right now it's white. You can go to red, white, black, green, whatever you like. You can change it up. So you can also use the custom HTML slash CSS file. I personally don't know how to utilize those, so I don't. I just keep it disabled. And then once you get what you're wanting, which I am actually, I'm going to go to the one that I prefer. I like Georgia. <clears throat> Let me get down to that one. Or engrave. Or Espaston or something like that. Anyways, that's the one I prefer. I'm gonna go back to the color white because it stands out the best. Then I'm gonna click my save settings. I want to make sure I put it to the size I want to, so I'm gonna start it off at 32 picks and then save those settings. I've got all three because I stream onto all three. I'm going to click this copy. You can click this and it'll show you that. You want to make sure if you're ever streaming, you never show this type of information. So click that. Click on, let's go into our OBS studio. <clears throat> so I'm going to want to add it to my, ooh, look at that, all those different images. So you'll go down to... Right now, this is I'm on my live racing scene because I stream my racing. You go down to your sources, click the plus sign, so you get to your browser option. Click browser, and then what you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call mine viewer counter. And click that. Take this and so that's it. And then use the custom widget or the height and the weight or, or width and height and everything. You could this is the current size right here. You can make it so it fills up your whole screen or whatever. You're gonna be able to adjust this and crop it if you'd like. So right now, mine is right up here. So as you see, it's right there. If you want to make it smaller, you can smaller, bigger, or you can <clears throat> go to the sides, click shift, and that'll bring it in closer together. You know, you're adjusting the size. You hit control, and that's going to make it also different, you know, size or what. If you hit alt, you'll be able to crop this down so if you just want to crop it down to 
a small piece just so you, you don't have this big old screen piece you can do that and then just pay, put her wherever you want mine is at a five snap so once I get five pixels away it snaps so I'm gonna have mine right there and then make sure that when you do that you come and lock it so it's gonna stay there and if you don't want to have everyone knowing you know whether you have just a few people on or whatever and you don't want people to know what you had what your viewers are you know where they're at and stuff like that you can hide it you click this little eye symbol and it'll hide it you also can take this like I take this and I'll put it into my game SDK star celebrations stuff like that <clears throat> So, congratulations. I hope this is a helpful tutorial, and we're going to give you guys some stars. Stars falling all over the place. Alrighty. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful, easy to follow, and if you ever have questions, leave them in the comment. I'll get back to you. Uh, you can go to KPTV75 on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. You can search that and it'll bring me up. And we'll go from there. I'd love to have you guys subscribe. If this is something that's helpful, share the video out. The more the merrier. I hope I'm able to help other people and yourself. So, alrighty. God bless. Love you guys. I'm out. Take care. Peace.